Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the best auto rifles in the game. Now this is a legendary auto rifle and it works for PvE and PvP. It's pretty much the best one I'd say for PvP and PvE. But the role that we do have today is a PvE role so I'm going to be basing this on a PvE obviously sort of review. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, drop a like down below and before we do start with today's video, I woke up this morning and we did manage to hit that 25k milestone and I mean that's just so impressive, like I never thought I'd actually get this far so I do appreciate all the support that we've been getting on the channel recently and I know Destiny at the minute is a little bit dead but we're still continuing to grow at a rapid rate. I think this month we've gone up 1,500 subs, so let's hope we can continue that. But for this method, or this review, we're going to show you what we actually did get. So the Knowing Hunger is basically a weapon you get from Tier 3 Reckoning or Gambit Prime. Now, the ones that I am using is Corkscrew Rifling, so it increases range and stability. Tactical Mag, which is just what I prefer, because obviously it's a bigger magazine. Subsistence, now when I got this perk I thought, oh it's not really a good roll, however I was very shocked when I tested this. Kills partially reload the magazine from reserves but reserve capacity is reduced. And then I got Rampage, now these two work insanely to be honest and I'm not sure why no one's ever like done a review on these two perks together. And we did get stability, now I would recommend getting stability with this weapon if you can. So for me this is definitely a god roll auto rifle, especially for PvE. Now I'm going to simply start this escalation up and I'm going to show you how good this weapon is to actually be. So I'm just going to talk obviously through this review and tell you why this weapon's so good. Now this weapon's really good because you don't have to reload and that rampage is constantly on. So as you can tell from these frowls here, all I'm going to do is simply spray. Now when you spray, you watch my uh, bullets. You do not have to reload at all. And as you can tell, we've literally melted a full horde without having to reload. And we're just going to keep going. The more kills you get, obviously the more ammo you get. So this is definitely the best auto rifle and probably is better than the recluse in my opinion. It's got the same sort of perks as the recluse even though you don't have to reload or anything like that. But not only that, there is a PvE ro uh, PvP role. Unfortunately, I didn't get one, so this is why we are doing a PvE, obviously, review of this weapon. But if you do have one, do check it out in PvP, because it does work just as good, if not better, in PvP. Now, I'm not sure what the best role is. Now, for PvE, I would say this role... Is probably one of the best as you can tell especially for small ads like this this rolls definitely the best not only that you can tell by the range of this auto rifle it pretty much maps no matter what distance and if you do have that rampage propped you pretty much have rampage times three constantly because you don't have to reload this weapon now even on yellow bars like these frowls here it's so good as well Now if you want me to make a build with this weapon, just let me know. But that's pretty much it from me, there's nothing else to really say. I just want to say quickly before I do end the video, the like goal for today's video is going to be 100. And if you haven't seen the previous videos, make sure you do check them out. And I just want to say I appreciate everyone that does become a member on the channel. Basically if you guys don't know what members are, members are people that obviously support the channel monthly. And there's a link in the description and I know a lot of you have done that so I do appreciate that a lot. Not only that you do get like custom emotes for the channel and that. And recently in the comment section um, the comments have been pretty active. There's a lot of people discussing and that's what I like to see. I'll be pretty much looking at every comment from every video from now on guys. So make sure you do drop a comment if you need any questions answering or anything like that. Like I said, thanks for 25k subs, try this weapon out and let me know what you guys think 
and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.